Hey guys, so I don't have a fun video today. I don't have an install, I don't have a review. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail, we got a bike down. So it wasn't either of my gals, but it was my brother. Uh, I'd already talked to him. He gave me the green light to share a video with you all about what had happened. Uh, I'll do my best to kind of throw some pictures up here if I can figure out how. Um, but figured I'd give you guys a rundown. It's kind of going to serve as a, a PSA for everybody out there. So hopefully the video won't be too long. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, so a couple of weeks back, uh, he was leaving work. And for those who don't know, he rides a 2022 uh, Road King standard. Um, and it, it's a beautiful bike. And he's you know, head over heels for it. So um, work was over. Uh, and he just closed up the office and was headed home, was probably about two blocks from the office that he and I actually both work at. And um, he's cruising down the road, down, down the main road, and off from his left, a car pulls out from a neighborhood road right in front of him and cuts him off. Fortunately, you know, had his eyes open, kind of pissed him off, but whatever it happens to us all. But, uh, and the car kind of slides over. It's, it's only a two-lane road, guys. You know, it's it's not a wide road. But the car pulls off to the right and slows down to a crawl. And it was weird. He didn't know what was going on. There were no blinkers, no hazards, no indication that it, there was a problem. It just somebody starts going slow. So he, he checks his blind spot. He checks for oncoming traffic. And he puts his blinker on, slips over, and uh, continues on. Just as he's passing the door, of the, the front driver door, the car all of a sudden flips hard left to do a U-turn. Didn't check blind spots, didn't indicate nothing. So his instincts kick in, and he leans a little more left to get away from the car, gives a little more throttle, and almost clears the car. Almost. Unfortunately, the car managed to run into his high side saddlebag and sweep the bike out from under him. And best I can tell, kind of spun the bike one way, he went the other way, and everybody kind of came to a stop. Fortunately, the young lady in the car, uh, 20s, uh, stopped and got out, was mortified at what happened, and uttered those words that all of us on two wheels dread hearing. I didn't see you. My brother, to his credit, kept his head about him probably far better than I would have, got up, checked himself out, brushed himself off, and looked at her and wanted to know what happened. Um, probably used a, some more colorful language, but, you know, asked what had happened, and that's when he found out. So, fortunately, there were some neighbors uh, nearby that came over, checked on him, and helped him get the bike back upright, helped him collect what was scattered all over the road, from bits of his saddlebag, uh, bits of his gear, got it all collected, contacted his fiance, who drove back and got him, got the belongings. Uh, one of the neighbors nearby rides, he offered to house my brother's bike um, for you know, next couple of days until he got things situated with the insurance. And so he took him up on that. So the bike spent the night in some random neighbor's garage. The next day, uh, he, him and his dad got together and got his dad's trailer, got the bike, and got it out to our local dealership. So the dealership's looking it over, gonna find out what type of damage we're looking at. Best I could tell from the pictures is it's an entirely new high side bag, which sucks because he just got those custom dynamics low pro bag lights put on there he was super stoked about. He's probably getting a new, uh, and it's all on the right side, 
uh, a new saddlebag guard, new crash bar, um, probably new grips. I, I don't I don't know if the grips were chooched or not. Um, probably a I mean, I'm guessing maybe a floorboard, maybe even a new exhaust. You know, I haven't actually seen the bike in person. I've only seen the pictures that he and his fiance took. And, uh, it's, you know, honestly, it fared pretty well, I got to admit. Um, it sucks that he bought this, this bike for him is less than a year old. You know, and obviously it's the last year of the standard. So, at least uh, it was on his right hand. He walked away with a, a fracture. Uh, in his right hand so he's uh, in a splint and uh, some road rash on his arm some road rash on his knee uh, fortunately he was wearing his helmet um, he was wearing uh, his half helmet and you can see on there where his head bounced off the road a couple of times and he is now a firm believer of helmets at all times which I can't say as I blame him uh, you know, there's only been a handful of times where we've ridden without helmets, and it's typically if we're cruising around downtown Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, you know, or if we're out of Sturgis. And after this, I don't think he'll uh, even do that much, which is probably for the best. So uh, the young lady was at fault and ad whoa, admitted fault and feels as awful as you would expect. So... Well, everything's going to get taken care of. He's overall, he's all right. You know, the bike fared well. We'll see what, uh, what the insurance does. We'll see what Harley says. But, uh, you know, I, he went through the rider safety course. He, he, he's a, he's a good rider. I've ridden with him many, many times and I will continue to ride with him. But, you know, we all get into this mindset that everyone in four wheels is out to kill us. And, and I think that's a good mindset to have. I think it's, it's unfair, but I think it, it helps keep us safe overall. But we also have to remember that we can get up and go a lot quicker. We're a lot more maneuverable. You know, ultimately taking care of us comes down to us. Nobody else is looking out for us, so we need to look out for us. And in my opinion, had my brother been a touch more patient, um, with the car in front of him who slid over and slowed down. He probably would have been avoided the accident if, uh, like I said, if he had slowed down, been more patient, would have seen this driver do an illegal U-turn in a road so narrow that you shouldn't be doing one to begin with. Um, so I personally am going to blame him for about 5% of this accident because of his impatience. Uh, he's smart enough to know better, but I mean, come on, I, I would have done the same damn thing. You probably would have done the same darn thing. Um, we all kind of get into a rush, especially after work, we're ready to go home, but we got to remember, you know, to protect ourselves, keep our heads on swivels, and remember that these cars, while not intentionally, are out to kill us. So, you know, in a lot of circumstances, I think the rider can, is at fault because they could have been doing things different. Not in all cases. I mean, some things are completely unavoidable, you know, let, let, realistically, but instances like this, in my opinion, you know, this could have been avoided, but how many of us would have thought to almost come to a complete stop and wait for a driver to do something stupid. So just guys, gals, everyone out there on two wheels, you know, three wheels, nowadays one wheel, um, slow down, be patient. You know, we can get around a lot easier and nobody is looking for us. And I'm, I'm grateful that this wasn't a worse accident. I'm grateful that he walked away. I'm grateful that the driver stopped and I'm grateful that there were neighbors nearby that were right there immediately to help him out. So just watch out for each other, watch out for yourselves. And you know, it, cause the last thing we want is somebody not coming home. So 
Sorry it wasn't a funner video, sorry it wasn't under better circumstances, um, but I felt that this video needed to be done because it's about safety. You know, these bikes are a lot of fun, they're dangerous, and we all want to come home to our families. And if that means being a little extra vigilant on our part, then I think we need to do it. So, uh, for those of you, it's your first time here, I promise the videos aren't typically like this. For those of you who've been, you know, tagging along for the journey, you know the videos aren't typically like this, uh, but sometimes reality has got to take the forefront. So thanks for hanging out. You know, thanks for watching. I don't expect any thumbs up out of this video, but if you found it valuable and you want to, please do. You know, please subscribe. You know, hopefully this will be the last time I have to do a video like this. You know, we can go back to having the good times, the good videos. Um, but you know, share it. I, I think this is valuable information. Even if it is a touch dry, it's it's valuable information. You know, we all, I think, need to hear what I have to say, dang it. Dang it. <laughs> but um, that that's all I've got. Please take care of each other out there. We'll catch y'all next time.